So in this lecture, we are going to study uh, the different steps we need to follow for converting uh, our Python app into so this is a calculator app which we developed in one of the previous lectures okay and I'm going to create an APK file for this calculator app this is a desktop version which you're seeing right now over here okay now for creating the APK file the first thing that you need to do is you need to access this website over here the name of this website is towardsdatascience.com and here when you will come down you will be able to see all the commands that you need to fire in the google colab workspace fine so these are the various commands which we will be firing now how can you access google colab you just have to write down google colab over here in the search bar of google this is the website you're going to come across let's hit this hyperlink and see what is going to happen so we are going to get redirected on a very beautiful web page now uh, from here we can hit this cancel button after that we need to come on this file option let's hit this new notebook for creating a new collab notebook so it's a virtual environment which google provides you along with your email address free of cost right so as you can see icon of my email id is getting reflected over here now in order to connect this workspace uh, with this drive of mine I need to hit this connect button once it will get connected automatically I will get to see connected written over here okay so now this workspace is connected to my drive now what we have to do we need to come here let's hit this files option okay and now we need to come right on the top over here and let's hit this file upload option and upload that calculator code so this is the file in which the whole code is present let's hit this open button so the file has got successfully uploaded if you will double click this file you will be able to see the code uh, over here right so everything is perfectly fine right now now we are going to run these uh, commands over here on this workspace so the first command is this pip install bulldozer now when you will click on this first tab so you'll get to see this cursor over here now you can paste that copied command over here in order to run this command you need to hit this uh, play button so right now the bulldozer is getting installed on this workspace fire this next command Right now the Cython package is getting installed. Fire this third command. Now in order to create a new uh, run window over here, we need to hit this code button. Automatically a new window is going to uh, come over here like this. Let's paste the copied code over here and now we can hit this run button for executing this code. So as you can see, the code is getting executed and all the required libraries and packages are getting uh, uploaded on this workspace over here. We just have to fire these commands and definitely we are going to get the output. Let's hit this code button again and here I'm going to paste the fourth command. Let's run this command. Copy this uh, fifth command and I am going to again hit this code button. Here I am pasting the fifth command. Let's run this. Okay. 
So this is the sixth one. I am going to fire in this workspace over here. Here I go. So libraries are now getting installed. Okay, this is perfectly fine. Now we are going to uh, initialize the bulldozer package. So as soon as you'll hit this run button, what is going to happen? You will get to see uh, this message uh, reflecting right in the bottom. So what you have to do, you have to write down Y over here. Okay, and after that you can hit this enter button and automatically. Okay, so this bulldozer.spec file has got created over here. So these are the different things uh, which are there written in this bulldozer.spec file. You don't have to make any changes. If you want to change the title of your app, you can make use of this field. You, you just have to change it like this. So I'm changing it to calculator for now. Okay, and uh, package name, let it be my app only. And this one also I'm not going to change. Okay, close this uh, bulldozer.spec file. I'm going to close this uh, main.py file also. Let's now go back on that website and copy the second last command. But now this command is going to create for us the required APK file. When you hit this run button, this is what is going to happen. So again, it is asking for some permission for from us. Let's. Uh, write down Y over here and when you'll press enter button automatically the processing is going to start like this so it is going to take a couple of minutes maybe 60 to 20 minutes and as you can see a bin folder has got created over here we don't have anything inside this bin folder at present once the file would get, will get created automatically it is going to come inside this bin folder okay so uh, in the middle you are going to come across uh, this uh, message so here again we have to uh, write down y let's hit the enter button again we need to enter y over here and so right now all the packages are getting downloaded and you know uh, this workspace is creating for us the apk file So it's a it's a virtual it's a virtual environment right now which we which we guys are using, uh, and it is completely uh, free of cost. You can access it very easily on your desktop. Fine, and with this you will be able to create an APK file uh, for almost for all your apps which you have written in Python. So once the package will get created automatically, this is what you're going to come across this message you will get to see right in the bottom and here when you check your uh, bin folder you will be able to see this AP, apk file over here inside this bit folder so uh, in order for downloading this apk file you just have to hit this uh, three icon three dots and this is a cascading menu you're going to come across now you can uh, hit this download button and automatically the download is going to begin and you will be able to see uh, this apk file download it on your desktop in couple of seconds.